And then we got in a, in a, in a, in a car, they was taking us to our hotel. And I was like, what, what hotel we staying at? And uh, the lady was like, you had the travel luge. <laughs> and we was like, oh, shit. <laughs> we had the, tra the travel luge. I'm, I'm tweeting. You had the travel luge. How many O's is that? I think that's three O's. <laughs> We pulled up. And, uh, regular old travel lodge. Travel lodge. Travel lodge. Travel Lodge, Chicago's very own Kevin Elvins. Mike, Michael Isaac, the duo producing their very first comedy show together called From Chicago to the Moon, a comedy love letter. They joined us now in studio to tell us all about it. It's great to see you guys. Oh, Thank God. you for coming in. So first of all, tell us how you met and connected and decided to work together. We were in a competition in <laughs> Chicago's, actually WGN, WGN. Chicago's next big comic. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it was a competition that you guys had back in 2010 and we both ended the competition. Uh, we made it um, to like the, the top 10 mm -hmm. and uh, I ended up winning the competition. Yeah. I, let um, him, I let him. I let oh, him. I let him. Win. Win. I was already yeah. working at Zany's at the time. Yeah. He was coming on. That was very know. nice of you, really. Uh -huh. Another brother win, you and, know. And, yeah. a, and a, yeah. friendship, <laughs> a friendship exists now because of that. Yeah. T talk about what, uh, you know, the evolution of comedy. I'm thinking about like 2010 when you won this. Comedy is much different now than it was than it was then. What what are you able to talk about now that you weren't able to put on stage then, and vice versa? What can you? What's off the table? I feel like you can talk about anything. In comedy. Okay. I feel like that's our responsibility as comedians. We mm -hmm. need to be able to talk about the world as it is in a very like you know honest and raw way at times. Uh, I just think we can't be irresponsible in the things that we say. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times comics get in trouble for saying things, you know, flippantly. And then now it's like you can't justify that with anything. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't really feel that way. You just said it to be funny. And then now you're responsible for those words. Right. But so I think when as a comedian, we have to be intentional about the things we say. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's about making people laugh. So talk to us more about the show, because this is really um, a love letter to all of the different disciplines yes. of comedy. Yes. Right. So with us, Calvin and I, we've we've kind of we say we've mastered the four disciplines of comedy, which is sketch. Mm -hmm. We both are graduates of Second City, the conservatory program. Uh, you have acting. We both are in SAG-AFTRA. Um, and then you have, of course, stand-up. And then we have the video aspect of it all. And so we wanted to do something to show that a lot of people are just like kind of a one-trick pony. But because of all the things that we've kind of learned over the years, we've put that into our routines. And that's part of our, our kind of our whole thing that we do is that we add things that's part of our lives and who we are. And so that's what makes our comedy more relevant because we are talking from our life experiences. So to have a love letter to comedy because it is in our side hustle. Is it, we don't have daytime jobs mm -hmm. that we do yeah. and then it's like, oh, let's go to do comedy tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's how we've also pro propelled as hard and high as we have because we are keeping comedy as our one true love. And I'm sure Chicago plays prominently in the show yeah. because you guys are both. Chicago guys. Absolutely. I'm a uh, north side. Yep, and I grew up on the south side. Uh-oh. So, yeah. yeah. No, it's a, it's a, I grew that's up, good. I, I grew up in Logan Square, so yeah. I went he, to... He knew how to get here without, without, <laughs> without, uh, <laughs> without <laughs> James. He was just driving. I'm like, man, what are you doing? And he's like, you know, Lane Tank. I was like, no, I don't know. Like, yeah. He got here without the GPS. That was impressive. He was like, yeah, this this one traffic count right here, they made a million dollars oh, right yeah. here. Yeah. You got to drive slow. It's got slowly. me a couple times. <laughs> the one on Addison or yeah. the one on Western? Both, because there are two of them. Both of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, literally we know every them. time. Yeah, they, they make a million dollars off. What, what, what? Out of the four disciplines, I would think I would think that stand ups the hardest. Is that is that what you find? Because you don't have someone usually to bounce something off of. And if you lost the audience, then you're they're you're, gone. You're gone. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's like a boxing match. It's you versus the crowd. Yeah. And like you said, with with uh, sketch is ensemble, so it's always somebody there to, to back you up. But stand up when it's, it's like you said, it's just you. Yeah. And yeah. we're doing ours as people look like it, like we're bouncing off each other, but it is our stand up comedy. So that's why we say we're the first all black stand up comedy duo because a lot of uh, duos, comedy duos, are more of the sketch or the improv, but it is our stand up. But because we perform so much together, we are actually friends. Mm -hmm. It feels as though it's a, a sketch yeah, or a routine, a but because there. we know each other's routine, he's talking about real life. So when he's on stage, I know, oh, he's talking about what just happened last night. Yeah. And now we're able to like kind of 
bounce off of that, like the opening sketch right there, the travel luge. That's when we were in uh, Montreal. <laughs> Montreal and it was like, like that was all like true. <laughs> we start the travel luge. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, that, was really that was a true thing. And we were like, oh man, we bless about to your make heart. It. Yeah. Okay, so wait, you're gonna try to take this show on the road? What's the plan? Yeah, yeah. that's the plan. So uh, the plan was to start here in Chicago, hometown, yeah. and then you know take it wherever we can take it. So Everyone Chicago. has a Chicago story across this country. Wherever you go. If you say you're from Chicago, someone always has a Chicago oh, story. Man. Visited here, know someone here. Absolutely. People love Chicago, we, and we work on Carnival Cruise Lines as well, so we meet a lot of people. A guy from Brazil just was talking to me two nights ago on a cruise. I just came back from the Bahamas, and he's like, I love Chicago. I was just there, the jazz scene, the music. I was yeah. like, oh, that's cool to hear. Yeah. Well, okay. great just, <laughs> to see you both. Thank you so much for coming in. What were you going to say, Sean? Uh, I was going to say off. something about the buffet. He was oh, just like, I'm just okay. going to sit here and eat. Then. Thank, <laughs> thank you for coming to the show. I appreciate it. I'm just going to get the buffet now. Thank oh, you. Okay, yeah. well, you know, we, you, we was actually going to try some uh, wine and milk when we left here. Oh, oh. Just, that's <laughs> it. As long as it's not boxed wine. <laughs>